welcome back. So, uh, episode two here, section one, and we're going to start talking about actually what is React. So, React JS, uh, that is the library that we're going to be working in. Uh, it's a framework, a JavaScript framework. So, it helps you uh, just what the word kind of implies there helps you structure projects, helps create some scaffolding or some basic um, architecture for your project that you'll be able to plop your content into. It's like you have a prefabricated house or at least a method by which you would create a house and you're just going to employ that method, use some of those building materials and then be able to color it whatever way you want and put whatever furniture you want inside, make it your own in terms of the content. React does have a very particular way of building things, particular kinds of folder structures associated with it. Uh, the framework has norms and certain ways that you're supposed to code. And we're going to be going through a lot of that. And whenever it comes to a framework um, and a new one, that's usually one of the hardest things to get around is that you're coming from some other framework, even if it's just jQuery or even just writing some normal JavaScript. Um, you're coming from some other way of thinking how to make websites. And then you have to run into this framework that may structure things very differently. So one of the most important things about React is that it's very modular and it's built to be kind of these separate chunks of code that can communicate with each other. And this is a strength because it involves a lot less rewriting of code and people are also able to create uh, very useful basic interface elements and then share them with each other through libraries. So throughout this course we're going to be focusing on writing our React code in a similar way. Uh, with a modular aim and kind of understanding the headspace of React at first and then moving into actual code issues and bugs and, and little little idiosyncrasies. Uh, React is great to use because it is quick, it's responsive, it's developed originally by Facebook which obviously has had a fairly successful run on the internet. Um, it does have very good performance, it's scalable, uh, it re-renders only parts of the page that need it. Uh, it has a very interesting theoretical thing going on behind the scenes that if you're interested, we may, um, you can look up yourself or we may touch on it just briefly when we're looking into the docs. It is a bit complex, which is why you're on this course. Probably you took a look at it and it didn't make much sense to you and you need a little help. Um, I certainly spent a lot of time pouring over tutorials uh, when I first got into React and I spent a lot of time doing silly things that don't make any sense. So hopefully I'll help you avoid most of those. Um, I also wrote down here lots of work in React. That's kind of double meaning. One is that it's a lot of work uh, working in React. Sometimes you got to be able to follow data flow very good in your head and you just got to get your head into it. But there's also a ton of paid employment in React. So I think it's a very useful skill. I don't see it going away. Although these frameworks do get replaced usually every few years. So, you know, expect React to be replaced at some point. But until then, it seems to be a very strong uh, candidate financially. I know I do a lot of work in React every day. So let's just go look a little bit at the React documentation. We're just going to go over here. Um, okay, React is obviously a fairly normal word, so you get all kinds of videos. Uh, okay, so here we are in React. Um, let's go to their actual Facebook's actual site. You can see it is a Facebook created thing, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's see what they just have here about very generally what's going on with React. A JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Yes, that is indeed. Yeah, you can create, uh, you're going to have this thing state in application. We're going to have rendering stuff going on, components. These are all words that we're going to get into. You don't need to read and understand this at all. Um, at this point, we're just going to go through it. I'm just kind of coming here to show you here's the docs and, uh, you know, just get you used to so some of the words we're going to be running into. So we're going to see code that looks a little bit like this going on. Um, we're going to see a lot of these kind of methods, kind of things component did mount and these words like state all over the props. That's going to be part of what we look at. Um, you can obviously come in here and take some tutorials as well if you like. I think it's not a not a terrible idea. All right, so they have a little hello world example, and in the next section, we're actually going to get this started up. We're just going to do a very simple one-page HTML setup that doesn't require any complicated, uh, you know, installing libraries and, and other things like that. We're just going to set up very simple, and then in the sections after, we're going to make a more robust installation that we'll be using throughout the rest of our um, 
course. So let's move on to actually uh, getting into some code together in the next section.